Hi everybody, welcome back, FTP Infinity Evolved with me, Sid, FTB, I really need to enunciate that, don't I? FTB. Um, yeah, anyway, we're over here. Uh, I've been a little bit busy, let me just go to that, um, since last episode, and I, I figured out how to use this thing. Uh, I have managed to make one of those, a revolver, and with the uh, got the th um, thing on it, let me just take, if I take the uh, am ammo stuff out and place... Uh, uh, so you basically you just whack it in and it adds it on now that is a shader that is effectively for all intents and purposes um, a counter-strike go skin um, I can't think of a better way of describing it if I can figure out what the hell I just did with that there um, yeah you play apply it to the machines and it will basically color it accordingly so you can change it around and I also made this the railgun now the railgun is fairly straightforward um, put a precision scope on it hasn't got a skin on it yet let's go with uh, crescent rose that sounds like a cool one uh, yeah uh, and the railgun basically Oh, it is actually pretty cool. Files, would you believe, rails? Um, you fire it up. It's powered, obviously. And then if you, with a scope on it, you can shift to zoom. You can zoom in and out and fire the rails. Now, they don't do a hell of a lot of damage. <laughs> this is the first thing. Um, however, there is a way to make this. This only carries 8,000 RF. There is a way to make it carry more. So we need three of them. I've got some steel. Oh, oh, let me just. Uh, in fact, we'll need that before we do that. I need three of those. I am going to need some more treated wood, more than we've got there. So, let me. Recipe for that is creos planks around creosote. Have I got any bottles? Fairly certain I emptied some. Or did I? Or am, I am I confusing a different episode series stroke? mod pack thing oh, and a bit of lag there um, blah 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 yeah, right, let me jump in there grab some of that uh, we'll go and grab a little bit of creosote quickly and we'll make some more treated wood that's probably the first thing so, so I've been doing a lot of caving off camera uh, to get resources because Needless to say, we're going to need them. Uh, I've also laid out over here, I planned out um, where these are going to be two tanks, um, two of the immersive engineering tanks, they're going to be fuel. This is where our refinery is going to go, and these are going to be our three refineries. Um, we'll see what we're planning to do with those later. This is going to be our power transformer room, which is where we're going to store our power, and that's what I want to work on today, because at the moment we... Um, the only power storage we have is in the reactor. And speaking of which, I did a bit of computer craft. Uh, oh, I, I made the machines and copied the code from the interweb. Um, so we've got this. This is our reactor control program now. So when the energy level falls below a certain level, it will engage the reactor. When it goes above a certain amount, it will turn it back off again. And it's that's pretty, pretty standard, basic program. I just did a bit. Quick, quick googling around for it and, and and did the follow the instructions and it all works fine so yeah nothing overly fancy going on um right so we need to make these first things first we need some aluminium and some of this treated wood so we're going to need some uh, wood 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 uh oh christ hang on give me some of that me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve worth. That should be equivalent to six, it is, and that will give us a whole bunch of that. Excellent. Put those away. Uh, we shall stick the logs away because I don't really need them. Uh, and the the last thing I need is aluminium and some sticks. So aluminium. Oops, just put one of those away. Grab some sticky sticks. 
maybe not sticky sticks, we'll just grab some sticks then. Uh, I don't know how many, I only need three of those actually, so that's not too bad. And then we are going to go, and we're going to go one, two, three, one, two, three, uh, three of those. We're going to stick those in there. We're going to go one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Three HV capacitors. Um, sorry, my uh, throat is still not quite where it should be. And that is HV wire, which is, that is all we need. So we take in three of those three of those that will make the additional capacitors uh, which if we go over here and place our shiny railgun in and put that in there that is now got a 12,000 RF capacity rather than a 3,000 RF capacity and the world is good and happy so that was just an exercise in catching up with what we've been up to and uh, getting a few a few bits and pieces done around there now what I want to do today is um, apart from charging this up so it's got a full actually I think this 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 skin looks quite good I actually uh, to be honest this counter-strike go the skins thing I will be brutally honest with you I do not understand it still not not gone down low enough to uh, to use that <coughs> And the reason I don't understand it is simply this. People pay a lot of money for the rare skins, from what I gather. I, I watch a few YouTubers who play CSGO. Um, I, don't, I, I mean, I can see the game, but it's just the skins. I mean, some of these skins for weapons are going for upwards of two, three, four hundred dollars $400, possibly even more. I mean, you know. And they give you absolutely nothing in-game. You get no benefits. It's just it's just for bragging rights to say I've got this. Why? Why would you? Why would you even ever bother doing that? It, it defies logic. Anyway, yeah. Let me have a look at Ender IO capacitors. So we've got a choice, and I think the choice I'm going to go with initially is I'm going to start off with. But basically, you start off with a base capacitor bank, which is your base capacitors, some iron, and some redstone. You can then upgrade, or you can go and directly and make with double layer capacitors and electric steel. You can make a capacitor bank with five times the storage, or for one of those, two of those, and that we can upgrade do the same. So I'm assuming cost-wise, this is going to be fairly similar. And then the third layer, which holds 25 million each, is two of these capacitor banks with this stuff going on and, and this stuff. And these are getting, you know, vibrant alloys and all sorts. So I could go with these. I could try and jump straight in at these, which is uh, electric steel. I'm not sure even pulverized coal basic capacitors. I'm sensing mechanism mini crafting going on here, which is, is going to be a pain if it is now I have actually got some of this stuff um, I've got for example if I can find it uh, it doesn't stand out unfortunately it doesn't jump out and go look at me here I am uh, if I were a electric steel I know I pick some up where would I be would I still be in one of these? I might be. Dark steel. Well, that needs to go away. Here, there. Mm, not in that one. <coughs> so, pardon me again. A little, little eh, twinge in my throat. It's just annoying as hell. Aluminium. Oh, electric steel. We have two. Pulsating iron. We have two. Uh, that's all aluminium these all actually need to go oh, there's electric steel and that is pretty much it so can we jump a level we've got four electric steel this uses this energetic alloy which is gold glowstone and red uh, redstone in a smelter now we can make that so we need let's have a look we need four of those and for four of those we need so we need eight electric alloys for every one. Okay. 
That's that one. And I've got um, eight. So I can afford three before we even get into anything out outlandish. As I use the word outlandish loosely, of course. Let me just take a, a 16 stack of those. And I've got redstone over there. We just need the gold. Gold, I should say. Let me take 12 gold. And we'll go and give this a try. We're going to see whether we can't get these... Uh, some of this stuff made because as I say it's um this is new to me or relatively new anyway. Uh one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Uh I probably just need to sieve this lot, so uh, uh grind this back down. I could stick it in the fortune one, that will probably be quicker. But there's there's something about doing it this way. Da -da. There we go. That should do us. Uh, so we need twelve. Well, I don't know. You know, I'm convinced I've done the math wrong somewhere here, but there you go. Twelve of you, twelve of you, and twelve of you. Alloys only. Right. So that's doing its thing. This is obviously eating, eating power. And now what I want to do is see what happens. I think this kicks in at something like uh, 66 million RF or something like that. The whole thing holds 10 million by standard. So what we should see, hopefully, and we could do with some of the, we could do with the, certainly getting a, a double capacity. An octoditic would obviously be preferable. Uh, vibe, oh. Pulsating eye. What do you use Yeah, that for? Uh, I have no idea. Oh, it's, so if we wanted to make a octoditic, we need vibrant vibrant alloy. Vibrant alloy is energetic with ender pearls. Easy. We can certainly get one of those and speed that entire thing up. Then, can't we? Let me just go and grab those. Eventually, I I was kind of umming and ahhing about what I wanted to do this episode. Do I want to, you know? Um, do I want to, for example, I need two of those, don't I? Sort out my storage area on the rig. Do I want to sort this out on the rig? Do I want to do this on the rig? Do I want to just do some caving? Do I want... And it's like there's so many things to do. Um, which is, I suppose, the entire point of a kitchen sink pack. Let me take those out. Uh, let me put two of those in with two of those. I know, I realise that that, that is, uh, is going to be a little bit off. Right, then we need some more of this going on, so that's fine. But I do want two of those. And then once we've got... Let's have a look. Once we have got this lot going, I need to get some of those. Probably get a whole load of those, actually. There are only copper, redstone and gold nuggets, and we've got loads of those. Um, then we should be oh here we go, there's our first vibrant we should be good to put the octoditic capacitor in here and uh, what are you doing you're dropping slowly but not way eh? I, I think this is what Birch was on about. There was a sign on it saying Herobrine was here, worry or something. It's apparently it's an April Fool joke, and it doesn't it doesn't work very well because, of course, we are on the tenth of April now. Um, what did I want to do? Oh, I need to set those running. Da -da -da. Finish off those. So where's my gold? There's a redstone and. There's that. Off you. Off you go. Do your thing. Right. While that is doing that, I am going to go and make a whole load of these basic capacitors, I think. They are, as I say, they're relatively easy. Let me go and grab what redstone I've got over here before I run off over there. Because I've got some here. I think I've got some over in the um, chest over here. This is one of the reasons why I'm like, oh, should I do my... Should I sort out my inventory storage blah 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 because 
I'm I'm kind of bouncing between sites. I mean, fortunately we've got this thing, so that makes life reasonably easy to live with. But um, yeah, it's it's tricky sometimes. Right. So if I go and grab that and that, for example, we can pop you back. I should have. What did we have? 61, 62, 63, 64. So that should be enough for 32. Yeah. Oh, boom. Oh dear. I'm doing having to do so much audio editing because of this damn cough at the moment. Anyway, not a problem. First world problems, as they say. Right, so there's 32 of those. That's a nice, quick, easy win. They should be able to get up here and maybe get the next thing. Oh, why do I need some of that redstone? Or well, I, I can't remember. We definitely need some of you. So to make this, we need glowstone. To make that, we need pulverized coal. I'm fairly certain I've got that. And if I haven't, I happen to know where there's a crushing machine that can make it. So I'll play it safe. And I'll go and grab a stack of coal. Now some of the stuff is over here and it is semi-organised. I am in a in a state of being a little bit organised these days. But um, I had coal. Okay. Do to do, do. Grab a few of those for now. The rest can come down. And we need to do two of those. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. I'll give us two of those, and then we're going to go two of those with two of those, and I need a glowstone block. That is the bit I am missing, and I know I haven't got any here at all. Uh, I have got those on me, though. Before anybody goes, you've got glowstone in your inventory. Um, so we can do you. That will give us the octoditic capacitor, which we can pop in there. That should make it go considerably faster and also inc improve the uh, power storage. It should be, yeah, it takes half a million RF in there just al alone. So that is that. Now, what was I doing? I was doing you, weren't it? Wasn't, wasn't I? I was doing these. So I need the coal and those. That's enough for three, but I actually need four. Do do are we there? Yep. Yeah. No, it's not quite. I don't think it's gonna get down there off of that. So I need more glowstone. I'm gonna need what did I say? That's six. So I need twenty-four of those. And twenty-four of those. Yes, that's right. Yeah, I'm I'm way out on my maths, I know. Let me get those um, running, and I'll be back. All right, so there's our 12 double layer capacitors at this stage. We've got our electric steel, uh, which should go the same way. And what did we need in the middle? A uh, block of redstone. Okay, haven't got those with me. Um, still haven't managed to drain enough power for that to drop off, but... Um, have I got the redstone here? I don't think I have now. Uh, so we just need three blocks of redstone. That'll give us a starting point of some 15 million RF uh, storage. One, two, three. And, and obviously it's expandable. We can, we can make them bigger. We can do whatever we want. I think you can mix and match as well. So you can add, add basically as much storage as we know what we're doing. Uh, as much storage as we need in there so the the power grid area is obviously going to go here uh, and what I'm thinking is we'll have the capacitor bank start about here and it will go all the way across and it will end about there uh, I haven't got anything on me to mark that but you can we and um, we can make it well let's have a look we can make it too deep 
should we wish uh, and you know so on and so forth oops um, so that has got a maximum storage of um, blah blah what is it 50 million RF and it has a reasonable transfer rate and we can charge stuff in there and yada yada and everything is great but of course currently there's no power in that which in itself is a bit of an issue now the building I'm not sure exactly I mean two minds whether to have it exposed to the elements or not and I think I'm, I think I'm going to go with exposed and the reason for that is if you if you've ever lived in the year certainly in the UK that we have these electrical substations they usually fenced off areas and the the wire comes across and then down into the electrical substation and then it's off into the houses um, and I think we're going to try for a similar look as that which means we don't need to change the thing we can just keep expanding this so this one we need to configure its IO we're going to you know you are you are nothing so you are going to be an input at the top we'll worry about the output in a moment what I do need is um, to go back I need to get some cable cable things uh, where are they cable things some cable I probably need I wonder whether I should be upgrading this to uh, LV that needs to go. Uh, that doesn't belong in there, actually. Do do do. Or whether I uh, leave it at. But I have really got nowhere for that to belong. Okay, fine. We'll do. That's the way we're going to be. Electric steel can go there. We'll put the pulsating can go there. Uh, two is probably enough. Now let me just check at the. Uh, Oh god, the, is it the post? I think, is it a post? Posty post, there we go. Wooden post, so it's two treated and a brick. Give me one, two, three, four. Two treated should be enough. One, I need more LV wire though. And I definitely need a one, two, three, four. Definitely need some uh, brick. LV wire that is just copy round copper around a stick. Grab a bunch of that and we should be peachy. And if I mean as I say we can there's no reason why it has to stay LV, we can always upgrade to MV at a later date should the should we it be necessary. So what I'm thinking here is we're going to take. Oh, what I'm thinking here is I didn't actually craft the damn thing that I set out to craft. So you're still off. Okay, that's fine. Do bunk and bunk. So we've got a couple of those. Everybody's here now. In out and shake it all about today. Um, right. So we will. I think maybe bring it to there and then there. And that should give us, I think we should have the range. Can we? Uh, uh, to, oh, damn it. Where's my uh, whacking hammer? Where do I want you? I want you there. Uh, we'll have you there. Can't move, no. Now, if I place this like that yeah I don't like it. I want it above I think definitely want it above Whoop. Ah. and then uh, right oh it still remembered that's all right then you are too far away from the previous connection well, I'm sure that's not right it's got a range of 32 hasn't it there Ah, okay. Maybe it is right then. Maybe we are going to need to... Give me. Right, let me bring you and we'll put you about here. Then that should 
be okay. Uh, we'll do that. Rinse and repeat. Eat. It's important to eat. I'm not sure entirely what I'm going to do in this area down here, but if this is an inconvenient positioning, then we can always reposition it, but it shouldn't be. And then what we need to do is put one of these on here. And this is where I say we may want MV or even HV power eventually. Um, but that should now be getting juice. It is. It's uh, charging up rapidly. Oops. Which will hopefully have kicked in the reactor eventually. Maybe. Yep, it's dropping down. Um, I think, not sure what point it kicks in up. So as I say, I've not really checked the program out. But that gives us our first uh, storage area. Now, I do need, as I say, just to dress that up, which we'll do with some R, probably chiseled iron bars, actually. Let's have a look. Maybe these and that would be about ideal. Possibly. Hmm, or maybe that, actually, chain link. I don't think that's going to work, is it? <sighs> Chain link should be fine, I think. Um, but yeah, so we are getting there. He's obviously already at s um, s dropping slowly. I mean, he's not the fastest in the world. But the problem is, as I say, the, the conduits will be here are hardened anyway. So we need to do some it's against the infrastructure stuff that I keep talking about and never getting around to doing because I always get carried away doing the uh, the fun bits. Uh, I actually want to move you as well. I don't like you there. And so I know that was a pain in the bum and we've just potentially lost a little bit of energy in transfer, but I will live because it's only power. <laughs> Wee, oh, um. <laughs> bunk and then we'll redo you from there to there and we'll redo you it was just that was just a little bit on the sloppy side there it wasn't really ringing my bell and it's a bit close to the heliport at that point as well so yeah right let me grab some iron bars uh, and we shall uh, we shall continue on. Have I got any iron bars? Five. Not many. I'm going to need more, but I, as I say, I've been preparing quite heavily for this. So we are in a position now to generate... Let's just do a stack for the time being. Uh, chisel. Chisel, 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 chisel could do with some kind of uh... oh I think I know what we've got oops uh, we should have something on the on the rig itself at the moment if I have a little look around technique block uh, maybe yeah maybe something like these oh, who's back Who are we welcoming back? Or is, is Birch just being sarcastic that he... Because we, we didn't do welcome back. Alright, so we'll pop those in. And then we can get the old chisel on. I'll get this stuff going. I think sees a she, but uh, yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> and yes, so there we go. 
And yeah, so ah, uh, oh bum. This is the only only real drawback with this is you end up with a thing. Now there is one thing I might try for this this area here. Um, I'm not even going to use any of my tools for this because it's obvious they're too too good. Um, and there's some some warning signs in chisel which uh, might just be interesting to use in this area. So let us just get this done. It's like a, I suppose the, um, I think the correct phrase is an electricity substation is what we're going for. Is the look and feel and from here you see we can either go from underneath and above and take the power out where we need it so I can come out from the underneath here and run under the station and then under the rig to take power out to here so we can have hidden power we can have visible power we can we can mix and match as and when as, as it suits us really so uh, yeah Do, do, do. Right, so do I want to go any higher? I don't think I really need to. What I do need to do is, and I think I should have everything we need here. I'm going to need some of that going on. We're going to need some wood. Don't tell me I'm missing the one. Th the one thing I need is is just bog standard wood. Yeah, it bloody well is, you know. Anyway, so let us go. I didn't see it. it wasn't a sign in there, was the? The actual thing I need is a sign. Um, and not a sign of the times, but an actual sign of the sign. Mm -hmm. Okay, let us jump in here. Go. Come on. Well, there we go. Uh... I'll take a couple. It doesn't really hurt. And then what we shall do is we'll whack a couple of those in. So we've got that going on. We have got smooth stone. I need more smooth stone. But smooth stone. Uh, so we whack you round and you round and then we're going to go and do these in the middle and that gives us eight of these warning signs which we can use with a chisel and make what well, we've got radiation biohazard fire hazard well maybe that should be up there explosion death falling objects it's a shame that's not the high voltage international high voltage one but loud sounds no entry cryogenic so if we go and take that and i just jump up here take you out uh let me get these going in here uh i want to do no, 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 I don't want to quite do that. That's almost what I want to do. No, I don't want you to behave like an iron door either. I want you to behave like a wooden door. Oh, man. Come here. Did I get all those back? I think I did. All right. So, what we do is we're going to chisel some more of this up to uh, we'll go with that one and then we'll pop 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 change the door type to yeah look silly that's probably the best Oh, here's Birch. <laughs> uh, and 
suddenly a wild birch appeared. Do, do, do. Oh, that's not the one I want. Grab a couple of those. Hup. And hup. And one very basic but functional power area. Got two million RF stored in there. I'm definitely going to upgrade this to MV. Uh, MV soon sooner rather than later but I think the next thing we're going to do I'm going to check how long I've been recording starters and then I will be back <laughs> really did, did you just go and commit suicide on my platform <laughs> um, yeah, I'm 35 minutes, so um, what I will do is we'll upgrade the power next time, I think. That's going to involve bringing all of these over to medium voltage and bringing all of this up to probably flux if we can manage it. And uh, yeah, that should do it. So it's still offline. Where are we at? dropping i wonder whether it's i don't know whether that, that must have been online online to come offline like that but yeah anyway so on that note thank you very much for watching guys and uh, i will see you soon and bye for now